like this, you hear me? Wonder Jams, where hit music lives. Lots in the midday chop up right here with your girl, Erin Rain. Got that I'm Jay in the mix with Ono. Right about now, it's time for Chat Shop, letting you know what's happening in the media. Got a shout out to everyone that is locked in on the Facebook Live. Hold up, let me turn you up. All right, all right. Okay, we good. Because we got a lot of juice to talk about today. Got Mr. Excitement in the building as well as I got yeah. DJ Pressure to, to discuss you gotta it. got to say it with, with bass in your voice. Okay. Say DJ Pressure 242. <laughs> Again, saucy <laughs> now, you know. I, I feel it myself saucy. now. Oh, oh, saucy goodness. is the word now. Oh, listen. Oh, boy, okay. Come on. So let's jump to the news because we got a bit to talk about the day, but I want to get into the juicier part. So, of course, you know, just recently, um, Tiger Woods was seriously injured in a single vehicle car crash in Los Angeles. So just hoping that everything do look up for him very, very soon because that's really a difficult position to be in, seeing that, of course, you know, he is legendary nonetheless. But after spending six years in prison, Bobby Schmurter was finally released and welcomed home in a big way yesterday. However, he will be on parole until February 23rd, 2026. So we still got some time to go, mm-hmm. seeing that we are in the air 2021. Yeah, that's short, man. That's short? That's short. Five more years? Five? That's only four years, eh? And it's 21? In 2001, you say 26, eh? Yeah, 26. Oh, my bad. My math's off. Oh, but okay. anyway, <laughs> any class maths in grade yeah, one. What, <laughs> what, 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 yeah. what school are you going to? What school are you going hey, to? Hey, I'm not putting my school out <laughs> there to be embarrassed, all right? Bush University. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> But man, Barbie Schmurda music has been streamed so much since he was arrested that three of his songs and an album have been certified gold. So you can tell his fans are definitely dedicated to him. So I love to I see the fact the fans that... Or the hype. I think um, it's the negativity or the hype. You, know, the you hype think it's thing. negativity? Yeah, see, listen. In in society today, uh huh. an artist could, could, could put out a body of work and no one will pay attention until that artist either goes to jail or they die. Or they die. Oh wow! That's what I say. If it's and that's what it is. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie, hot, hot boy. That's that's still a bad song. Bro. Yeah, it's, it's, a bad know, song. it's a bad song. It's but a bad song. I but just if it's just over the hype. That's all it is. Yeah. It's just hype. That's all it is. Yeah. They glorify violence and stuff like that. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I still love the song. And honestly, I really want to hear more of what Barbie Schmurda has to say because he did say that he's focusing on music much more now that he's finally out. But let's talk about, since we're talking about albums, we're talking about going gold, we're talking about legends. You can't uh, miss Dr. Dre because right now, Dr. Dre is getting ready to release his title, his album titled Detox. Mm-hmm. And he broke silence with a snippet where he had a lot to say about his soon to be ex wife. And that messy divorce. So let me let me just read a little bit what Dr. Dre had to say, man. So he said, trying to kill me with them lies and that perjury. I see you trying to mess me up while I'm in surgery. And I see you deathbed on some money stuff. Greedy girl, take a pic, girl. You know how money get. By any means, get your hand out of my pocket. This life it's private just like the pilot it's been decided this Poseidon mm. that that's, take me back that, that that's that like real Dr. old hip right yeah, yeah listen <laughs> I don't she, she just was being she was being extra she was being too greedy she wanted uh-huh. too much uh huh right. you know off of the back you think of she heart. deserve it no why not <clears throat> why Why did she deserve it why you don't think she deserve it that's what I'm asking listen to me that's his hard work right yeah you understand what I'm saying so yeah that, she she okay. was there uh huh she, she, she had his back yeah, she held them down. She held them down. Uh-huh. But that is ridiculous. What she wanted? Uh, uh yeah. I the mean, pricing, what? the pricing is ridiculous. Yeah. But she yeah. deserves something. She deserves something. Right. Of course. Well, she deserves know, something. But at the end of the day, you can tell that you know they've been having some messy, um, messy situations, and it probably has been super messy. It's probably been a messy marriage for years now. I'm just saying. So because question, even uh, she hit. I'm um, sorry. She no, hit no, headlines no. too, stating that she believed another woman was wearing her clothes. So she's trying to get, um, you know, confirmation to go in the house, getting okay to go in the house and get all of her stuff out. That's what I was just going to ask you. I need yeah. check in April now, right? What would they say? But, you know, um, getting getting a picture of someone together uh, doesn't mean yeah, you and that person that. dated. Yeah. yeah it doesn't okay. necessarily mean that. You and Aaron can take a picture together. And, and then they say, that. yeah. I'm just saying. So I it wouldn't depends who you is, bro. <laughs> yeah. It depends on you. Because certain dudes, if you take a picture with them... Mm. He slamming. Yeah, certain, yeah, certain guys, yeah. And certain right. females. See, take certain, a certain, right. certain females too. They slamming. Yeah. So yeah. it all depends on who the person is, I guess. So right. With that kind of money, you think I can be that loosely with? No. Nah. That's what I'm trying to say. Not not with someone like money's anyhow. changing, but especially like her. Yeah, no, not with April. Uh, with I'm April? just saying, she not with April. She traps bad, bad, bad. Yeah, bad, so bad, we be bad. careful with it. But well, oh, no, you saying? That's what you saying. You saying Tropsy? How much? How much stories we see with these? 
females, even dudes out there. Mm-hmm. And you know, like every the world seeing their history, mm-hmm. and people still is get entangled with them, bro. Oh, okay, that's entangled. That's not marriage. That's not taking. No, serious. but you still put yourself out there. Though. One and done. Yeah, All because right, yeah. I don't know. They, they don't really matter. But let's talk about the juice today. The real, real juice. So oh. now Neo has been Mr. Neo. Mm-hmm. Don't know, so sexy. Love Neo. Anyhow, he's been hitting the headlines just recently um, because he's welcoming his third child with his current wife, Crystal Smith. But mm-hmm. years ago, when he was with his ex wife, Monietta, after they both shared two kids together, they had both decided that they didn't want any more kids. And they discussed the fact that she would get her tubes tied and he would get a vasectomy. <laughs> so now. Years later, we could see Neo never got the vasectomy, but Monietta did get her tubes tied, and she did heavily regret that, seeing that now Neo got three kids with a new woman. She gets so, one. So, I'm just asking all my ladies right now, if your husband had asked you, if your husband asked you to get your tubes tied, would you? Would, would, well, first off, you ask, you, you ask the question, not, you okay, looking at us. You're looking at us. Like, you're looking at us. Like, listen, I can understand with a, with a man saying, okay, uh-huh. I don't want to have any more children. Yeah. You know, to, to, to go as far as to say you should get your tubes tied, I think that's a little extra. Yeah. But she get donkey of the she get donkey of the month. Oh man. For doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Personally, yeah, yeah I personally feel they you they let, thought they was getting they was getting lost. They, she yeah, thought that they were going to That's what she thought. But I think you know it was what? what? I think it was maybe what, a couple months, say. I think there was yeah, four months after their marriage or shortly after their marriage, mm-hmm. they got divorced. That was it. But she gotta remember before they got married, what? she was just an eye check. Hold on, hold on, time on, time on. They it was a yeah, I had two children. Mistaken. They got uh-huh. married, only, only married for four months, got divorced. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then four months, she got a tube side. Yeah. She deserved a donkey plaque. Well, I wouldn't say, well. Uh, I wish I could just say the word. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm just trying to say, she said that she trusted him to get the vasectomy and she didn't question it. And of oh, course, like you said, him. if she was- He a, loved if, me. Exactly. Yeah. If she was I a, loved him too. Oh, goodness. She thought if, it was going to last. If she was a side chick, like I said, she didn't, she got the mean status like what she wanted and that's something that she really thought that she was going to possibly end up with at the, uh, you know what I mean, at the mm-hmm. end of life. But it, it didn't go that way. But on the Facebook Live, yeah, I have some ladies answering me. Got um, Kenva Munro right now saying that it would have to be discussed because that's usually the woman's call. And... Mm-hmm. You know, and Nicolette Adderley right now, <laughs> she ain't really feeling it, man. She's saying that I'm ready to tie them up like a bow now. I'm not even married yet. Okay, well, N- Nicolette is on a whole <laughs> different tip. Yeah, I don't know. Company. How many kids you got, Nicolette? You got to ask her that. But my girl Chantel <laughs> Roll right now is saying that, no, she wouldn't just because, you know, she wouldn't go ahead and get a tube side just because the man wants her to get a tube side. And she's saying that, what if they aren't meant to be together forever? And, you know, like they say, stuff happens at the end of the day and they both go their separate ways. Now, you know, she got a new man and she wants to marry. And the fact that she can't even have new kids, she can't have kids with him. So question. But, but that's common sense. Yeah. So it has to be more to the story than uh-huh. just that. Because yeah. we're only hearing her side of the story. So question, he have to, he had to give permission for her to get a tube side? I mean, because they married. Well, yeah, well, it was it was she. actually after a second child in the hospital room. Mm-hmm. The doctor asked both of them. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, they were sure. She said the doctor asked him about eight times, and the both of them said yes. So, yeah. She he was, a he, was, he, was uh, he right told there. her that because he knew he wasn't going to be with her. Yeah. Well, but that still don't make no sense, though. Don't make no sound. Oh, I, no. I look at it, watch it. If he know he ain't gonna be with her, mm-hmm. uh-huh. and Let they get divorced, yeah. that means his responsibility of the kids or whatever, however she living, he doesn't have to take care of no more. Mm-hmm. You understand? This? So that one, I guess he plan, he playing checkers, yeah, man. I, that's, that's what, and that's he, what um, Malik Stubb is saying right now. He's saying that Neo is very smooth, of course, and that's what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm just saying, as a woman, like they say. It's your call, it's your body, it's your decision at the end of the day. And of course, we want these relationships to last. We want these marriages to last so bad. So, so bad. You're going through everything just to make it last. But in all actuality, in re- sometimes it just doesn't. You know? and, and a lot of that is the woman's fault, too. Let me start what? some problems. The, ma- yeah. the marriage is ending is a woman's fault? Yeah, these women have changed once you don't put them on their finger. Whoa! Things things, so. Yeah, but what? what? The what things what they used that? to do in the beginning? The minute you get married, it stops. Excitement. Yeah, yeah. I know, but all you sure you was there that now? But I, 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 just, I am. Go- I'm not married. I'm gonna say it. Uh huh. Straight but I don't up, like I have a lot player. of friends who are married, and they will tell you the a woman is change. a certain way until she, when you get married, mm-hmm. changes. Sex stops. Yeah. It ain't when you want it no more. It's when they want to give it to oh, you. Oh, okay. 
So you ain't getting married. To me? I never say that. <laughs> Maybe one day. All right, but you're on the spot, day. bro. But, but you're taking your time now that you see that you have the friends. But why is it? Why is it? My if, situation if, will always be different. If, mm-hmm. if it hit the fan, it's a man's fault. Why Why women don't take the responsibility? Well, that's why I here. say it's the woman's fault. They'll never say it's I would, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say that, you know, necessarily. Um, A lot of women, well, I wouldn't say a lot of women, but some women do have, do, some women do say when they're in the wrong. Not every woman, you know, some thinks do. they're yeah. right all the time. Some mm. women do. I don't. And that's, that, but to me, it doesn't, it doesn't even have to do with the um with the sex. It doesn't have nothing to do with the gender. It depends on the person, the individual. Uh-huh. I'm just saying. But anyhow, on the Facebook Live right here, we ain't about to start no problems. Because excitement, that's, that's, that's a whole nother discussion. But like Precious been saying, <laughs> maybe we need to, uh, you know, have a way you get your license renewed. License your every five license years. Renewed. Well, you ain't think that could work? Yeah. Every, five every five years. Every five years. Every five years. That could work. <laughs> you get a pull in the meeting. Hey, uh, you know, for the last five years, you wasn't meeting these requirements. <laughs> uh-huh. I will have to give you a pink slip. Don't forget, you, know? you yeah. got to go home today, though. Yeah. I don't get in text. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. So I got my girl, Ashanti Dava, right here, man. She's saying that it should be a personal decision, and she would want to get, um, well, if the woman wants to get a procedure done, nonetheless. And, of course, um, Shakara, right now, she's saying that no stickability, of course, for just referring to relationships. And that's why it's like, at the end of the day, just don't do it. Okay? I mean, it's really up to you. I wouldn't say don't do it, you know, but let the decision be on you and just soulfully on you. Do not let that man... Put whatever in your head until you to get your tubes tied, okay? I'm just saying, because you might just meet somebody else, and it just might be the one for you instead of the person who you're with now. She just gets swing. Mm-hmm. I believe Neil wrote that song. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, Lord. Anyhow, that's it for Chat Trap. Letting you know what's happening in the media. We don't say I didn't know what the conclusion is, all right? About to jump into that Neo right now with Miss Independent. She got a-